Drum, 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 stick, drum, stick, gaming, drum, 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 stick, gaming. I play Crash Mario, another Sony games. We've been bouncing here for hours, folks. Hey, everybody, it's Drumstick Gaming. Welcome to back to um, episode two of Super. Well, not that, but welcome to episode two of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we got here to the Comet Observatory. And Rosalina instructed us to find some more power stores, and we're going to be doing that in this episode. Welcome, this dome acts as eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon the di upon distant galaxies. Once this woman transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your pointer at the pole star and press A. Oh, whoa, the nunchuck came out before you there. That's funny. Do, do, do. So you have to point the screen with the pointer, and then these are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. So we only have one new galaxy available to us, as we only have one power star, which was the grand star we got in the last last episode as well. Um, in addition to finding the observatory. But, well, we didn't get a power star for finding the observatory. We just got the one grand star last episode. So, we unlock this galaxy, which is the Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. I m must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Okay, so let's blast off! At the speed of... Dang it, the nunchuck came out! Oh, my God. Ugh. The nunchuck's off now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good day, Galaxy. And the star is Dino Piranha. Let me see an egg right there. Maybe it might back into the mission? Who knows? Anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the name of these enemies right there, the little octopus like things, are actually called Octonumas. They can spit. Or at least I think they can spit blocks at you. Hold on, let me see. Uh, AI? Oh, no, they can just rack your head. That's weird. Rack their head. But, that's weird. Don't think it's spit rocks. So, yeah. First Galaxy of the game with some awesome music to boot. There are a few ways to. Oh, actually, no, there are a few ways to go through this mission. But basically, uh, I should probably explore down there. I probably should give this area a mention. So, we got some classic Mario stuff, like the question mark box and pipes. If you go on this pipe, you'll pop out on the opposite side of the planet. I could have just done that earlier, but hey. Now, these are star bits, as I mentioned in the last episode. You can shoot them to stun enemies. Like that, and then just run into them and they're stunned. Do, 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 do. Now, we will want to go in this yellow pipe. Because it has something for us. And it's some music notes! Da na na, da na na. Okay, I'm not gonna sing along with it. Do, do, do. Never mind, so I wouldn't sing. Yeah, it's kind of tricky with the... And we get a one up for our troubles. I think you can cut quite down the ceiling, but whatever. If it goes near the wall enough. But hey. So we got an extra life. Just thought I'd show that. And, well... Effective's kind of hard when you're walking on like place like the ceiling, but if you get on the top of the roof, you could just turn this triple jump. You type more, turn the observatory, press n minus or plus, and so it returns. So you can't bring back any star bits. Pick up, so be careful. So we can do that by pressing plus or minus, and it shows 
the number of stars in the galaxy, the mission, the star count, and our lives, and coins and star bits. And we return to observatory by doing that. So yeah. Okay, so I think that's about all the basics. We can keep moving. No, well, no, I didn't mean to. Now normally, this guy would uh, turn to a pole star, or uh, I don't think you need to use them, from what I remember. You can just long jump up into the launch star. You don't even need to talk to him. But hey. Whew. So yeah, yeah, there's some more star bits, as that guy would tell you. So I have to go around the planet that looks like a peanut. Peanut. Let me just say that clearly. And wow, I got hit. Don't walk in the brown stuff. It is mud and will slow you. Down! Frick! Uh, may, let me move, please. Okay, this part's kinda annoying. Fudge balls. Oh, fudge! 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 Okay, I'm gonna try and get that coin first. Frick. Ah, do do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. So yeah, not much to say really. Just gonna keep traversing the galaxy. Do, do. Also, after a <laughs> after a bar does, sorry for making that noise. Um about me kind of finding out stuff to run out talk about in these videos. I'm sorry. I'm just kinda of beginning. It's kinda of hard for me to find stuff because I don't know. I do get Game Informer though, so I could maybe talk about some reviews from that. There are two ways you can get to the next point. You can go through this pipe, or... Darn it, can't see it. You can go up there where this big spawn plant, and when he swims down, you can jump on him, and he'll create a vine to the next area. But I'll do this way. And here we got the switches from... Or at least some switches that were like the ones in the last episode, where we actually have to turn them yellow this time, instead of blue. And there's a one up. Do, 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 do. Jump over here and get this one, and then we're done. And there's a launch star over there. And we go toward that planet, but we skip that one. I think you can get up here by. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you ever see these old feet like things? Go where the feet are headed and spin, and you can get a ton of star bits for doing this. I did not know this um, when I was playing through this game until somebody pointed out. Um, watch out, if you spin once, you have to wait for your woman comes back before you can spin again. So that's what that eh, no, sound means when we spin. So yeah, let's keep going onward. Let me spin this for a launch star, and we blast off across the cosmos with star bites inexplicably appearing behind us. And we go around here, and we'll land on top of the egg. Bam! Do 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 do. Also, I like this music. I think it's a little bit under it. Well, it's the underground theme, kind of, but I think it only appears a few times in this game. Oh, so it doesn't do the auto. Dun, 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 but anyway, we spin this little bowl thing on the back of his tail, and he gets mad. Yep, this is Dino Piranha. Now, all you have to do is run to the back of him and spin his tail again to hurt him. Do, do, do. Spin him again. That's three, uh, four, that makes four. Anyway, that's three after he got out of his shell, but four if you count the time when he was in his shell. So yeah, there's our first power star. So I'm going to go get it after I pick up all the star bits on this planet and get this coin, even though it doesn't really matter that much. 
We actually need to collect star bits. Oh yeah, I have to say something. I did not know what these were when you first when I started this game either. If you shoot at those little plants, they burst out coins when uh, you shoot at them. So yeah, well, let's go pick up the power star. Bum 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 ba Man, I'm about ten minutes in the recording. I might stop it here. I might, but uh, hold on. We have to save our game first. Those things are star bits. Um, to whom is their taste system a thing thing imaginable? Just getting and playing them. Get some up and have some shoot them ever, as I have already explained. Why don't we try it out? It meant me and feed me some star bits. Okay. So you have to feed him some star bits. Wait, can't we just. Yeah, we probably could do that. So basically, the star bits he gives us are kind of pointless. And well, I'm missing. And I think once you feed him all the star bits, or at least five, maybe, he continues onward. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels. My fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to Angry Wuma. Either way, I'm sure Star Bits will be a big help on your adventure. So, now that we are done with that, I think we are going to go to the next mission in Good Egg Galaxy next time. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, We'll be going to the next mission and get good at Galaxy. See you guys then. Oh, and by the way, I just want to do this to keep the video short. So, sorry if it's so a bit early, but hey. So, see you guys next time. Okay, screw what I said about in the episode off a few seconds ago. Um, actually, now that I uh, have learned to put entertain. Well, I'll be explaining it in the next part of the video. Let's just fly the galaxy. Um, so anyway, I will not be ending this video off where I said it off. I said it in. I would end it off a few seconds ago. Gosh. Whew. But we will not only be doing Dying Prawn and stuff, so we will also be doing a, a click on the star. Jeez. <laughs> a snack of cosmic proportions. Now, the reason I said, um, actually, this is being recorded, um, a f quite a few days after the recording of Dino Piranha, that these were both going to be the same episode, both these clips. So, um, it's actually after, um, that recording, but these are going to be part of the same episode. And the reason I was kind of uh, going to end it off there, as we're traveling to our destination, we actually have to come over here and talk to this bloom, uh, to get him to form into, oh yeah, he says he's got a hungry friend up ahead, he says, don't mind sharing your snacks, oh wait, that means, wait, okay, so basically, what we gotta do is collect star bits, I will explain in a second, like that guy said, we had to feed hungry wombs, but, okay, guys, stop deviating from the Conversation I was going to tell just a few seconds ago, but anyway, um, basically the reason I wanted an episode off there was, um, I'm actually going to be making a menu screen where you can select the mission, hopefully, um, if it pans out and stuff. Like, I will be, yeah, making a menu screen where you can, uh, have like the common. A picture of the common observatory, and you can select your mission. Now, there's something I gotta bring up during this. I know I'm not the first one to make a mission select sc screen. Chug Conroy already did it in his Let's Play with his common observatory menu. And even though I will probably use the same layout because it's the least crowd, is the least crowded view of, um. We just got a view of the observatory, and like just perfect for displaying annotations and such. I give him full credit for the idea, um, and anybody else if they have done their own respective menus. 
I give them full credit. I'm just using like the same concept in my Let's Play, but I give whoever started it full credit for doing it. And screen! I don't think you guys may have seen that in capture, but uh, my screen suddenly went dark for a second. Uh, it happens occasionally during recordings, but I don't think you guys see it. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to making the menu screen, but it is going to take a lot of editing, which is going to screw me over. But basically, I didn't really need to go in that pipe. I don't really need the one up, but hey. So right now we're just collecting star bits. We will need them in the mission ahead. I think we got just about enough. Uh, I think we'll be able to get some more on later planetoids and such. Oh, wh what? You can. Hold on. Wait. Camera. I mean. Did you guys see that? Where the pole stars were? From that little ledge the, from the blue Uma formed? Wow, that's very bad wording. I'm going to try and see if I can... Holy crap, you actually can! Whoa, that's cool. I didn't know about that. Awesome. Sp Speedrunning tactics for the win, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah. Playing some more Super Mario Galaxy, guys. It's awesome. But, hmm, I can't really think of what to talk about. Hmm. Oh, yeah! I can think of something. Um, back in my what's. Back in my what's. Let's play while we're taking this grand. Uh, not grand star, James! Um, last let's play when I, uh, mentioned my Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge. I have to say that that unfortunately ended in failure. I was at the last battle against, I was in one of the last battles of the game, um, for those of you who have seen episode 15, I previously mentioned it there, um, of Crash from Sandy, uh, I was in, like, the last, one of the last battles of the game, and I lost all my Pokemon, barely. It was really close, though, and I'm kind of trying to do another one with Black 2, I've been trying to do a few ones, but... I've not gotten a successful one yet, but I will someday. Now, regardless of all these other launch stars and stuff that launch you to other planets and such, this is the planet we want. They just kind of launch you around in the endless loop. And maybe if you take another launch star uh, when flying, it will send you past that planet and onto the next one. Now, I know this isn't the most, like, showing of all the routes. I, mean, I could show all the launch stars, but hey. So all we gotta do is feed this guy one star bits, and yeah. Okay, fine, I won't be obnoxious. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transform! Whew, that took quite a bit of breath. So, he transforms into a new planet. No, no, no. And we can take the launch. Wow, that's a weird sound. <laughs> no, just. And we can take the launch star forms as well as to the new planet. So, cool. Now, basically, you kind of have to just kind of walk around the planet, jumping up those lights and such. Such, but I do know a speed running tactic that you can use to get up there a bit quicker. Um, I want to see if I can do this. Oh, whoa, I did it. Um, so yeah, you can just basically backflip up this plant, this plant, and ball jump. What you're supposed to do is walk around until you get to higher wedges, but hey. And we blast off to the center, and we can see all the plants we walked across on our way here. Well, yeah. So we're on this little pill like planet from, you know, Dr. Mario, you know, pill? It's a big pill. But hey, I'm not here to talk about pills. Um, I'm here to help you through this game. So, over, if you walk over here, you can get an opening and jump inside the pill. Dr. Mario. That reminds me of Printel Fosses. Uh, this, uh, Dr. Mario with the weird song. Now, what it's supposed to do is walk around. Um, and wait till the gravity changes to jump on some of these platforms, but you can also backflip up here, kind of like the speed running 
Wait, with some more speedrunning tactics. And wall jump, too. And, whoa, I can't. What? Screen! Stop going black! So we can blast out of this and head off to that little star over there. <laughs> it's a pun. Kind of. But anyway, uh. Oh, wait. Now, what you're supposed to do, the intended method, is to get all the blue star chips to form, uh, pull stars. And I. The, the nunchuck is not working properly, sorry. Um, it's kind of controlling itself for a second. Uh, but, and you can do that if you want, but there is a much quicker method. That I will be showing all the locations, all where the blue star chips are. And, uh, nunchuck, can you please? Uh, I'll be showing all the blue star, star chips. And what you're supposed to do is to like get onto this one and then use that one to grab hold of the star but you do not have to do that you can actually um do this and long jump right up to it and then spin up to it yeah so you don't actually have to form the full stars i just want to show it but anyway i think that's about enough for this episode because um from what I remember from last recording, it's about 12 minutes, so it's been about 8, so it's getting around 20 minutes, so I don't want to make these videos too long. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, what up, boy, for you visited the new galaxy? Including power stores with paint or range of vent. Perhaps to eventually include the enemy base, my gosh. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I think. We'll be exploring. Let me see. The new galaxy. Next time. On Super Mario Galaxy. And that galaxy is. Eh, I won't be a jerk. It is the. Honey Hive Galaxy. And we'll be doing that next time. So, next time in Super Mario Galaxy, we'll be exploring. The Honey Hive Galaxy, and also finishing up the Good Egg Galaxy as well. So, see you guys then!